Hi, this is Dwayne from Lancaster County Marine here in Ephrata, Pennsylvania. Today we're going to take a tour of the brand spanking new 26 foot surf Chaparral. This boat is sweet. You'll notice that we had this boat custom built. It's on the white Coyote trailer. I want to point out especially that that trailer is heavy duty. 18 inch rims, it's got the really cool flat black alloys with the bead locks on them. It's got the spare tire up front to match. You'll see the step plates, extended step plates at the back, all the LED tail lights. It has a skid plate for the out, out drive, so as we pull in and out of low areas, prevents drive damage and prop damage. Coming forward, you have three steps that lead us up to the bow, so we can load gear from dry land. Two-speed winch, hinged tongue, another very cool feature. So if the steps are removed and the tongue's hinged, you can save three feet in the garage. This boat is deep and wide. Great thing is, you need a big boat to throw a big surf wake. We have a total of 5,100 pounds of bear haul weight and engine. Adding to the trailer, it's about 7,100 pounds plus to tow. You'll notice as we look top to bottom, this has the electric folding arch tower. So for wakeboarding and wake surfing, it's a great pool and contact point. This boat is equipped with the head compartment, really luxurious inside. Has the opening port light window that has screens. We ordered the surf graphics. Has the uh, alloy gray hull with the red metallic stripe added on from the factory, all done by Chaparral in addition to the beautiful ebony black. Looking at the back, you'll see our gray surf gates left and right. So we've got the Malibu surf gate, which is patented. Our extended swim platform, which is really none better. When I run the Infinity Power Step here to show you in a moment, you'll see how easy in and out of the water this really is. Looking underneath though, this is our strong suit, is you've got the Bravo 4 twin prop, forward facing drive, has seven blades, four in the front, three in the rear. So it has great traction, incredible turning, and the ability to trim it so we can throw a beautiful surf wake in addition to running through shallow conditions if needed. So in a moment, we're gonna get up on board and take a grand tour. So our Infinity Power Step has its own transom switch. It's that easy up. Time to deploy. The best areas of the surf is our transom area. You'll notice simple pool and we turn this stern into a chase lounge. We do have a side seat, storage under, access to our transom shower. This boat's equipped with an onboard double bank charger, waste pump out, stern transom stereo remote. Our Infinity Power Step controls. The Vista View Stern Seat Lounge is pretty incredible how you have such a big sun deck on the back. Our walkthrough is kept low, less, less than a six inch step up, another six inch step down, another six inch step down and we're in the cockpit. With the depth of our seating, we'll raise this again to show you how nice the back supports are. If we choose to sit across the stern, easily three across. Plus our inside seat depth is great. Showing us corner seating plus the long L. And behind the driver we have another nice sized lounge seat. And this is the greatest spot, we put the cooler. So that all comes with, so you got the igloo to carry out, stainless grab handles, surf logos, these all light up at night. We'll show you the accessibility to the engine is exceptional. So this has a 6.2 liter, 350 horsepower, catalyzed Bravo 4. So the forward facing drive is made for surfing. Comes with twin batteries, onboard charger, 
Our onboard pumps allow us to fill up the ballast system, all with bronze through hauls, sonar, transducers are all through haul, automatic bilge pump, 65 gallon fuel tank, and this won't come down on you. When you're in the bilge, you have to trigger a safety to be able to lower the stern sun deck, but it's easy, one hand up. Here at the Chaparral 26 Surf, the helm is the highlight of the boat with dual sim rads, seven inch screens, giving you all of your Merc Cruiser information for gauges, all the surf gate information, ballast information. We can bring up audio. We can control the tunes from here. We can bring up cruise control, your launch control. We're able to bring up active trim to automatically trim the boat. We can set it for whatever speed we want to surf at, wakeboard at, water ski at, or tube. Remote control for the audio, and this has the high-end JL audio with an 800 watt amplifier, separate subwoofer, six channels, so front, mid, and rear, plus the tower for a combined total of nine speakers, and this one does crank. If you choose navigation, you can bring up on screen and change it out to charting. So we can have all the inland and coastal charts on mapping. We can also find waypoints, buoy markers, shallow water, deep water. You know all your depth settings, alarms built in, plus fish finding technology. It's just incredible. We can configure our dual screens as we see fit. On dash, all of our soft touch buttons are backlit. So at night, we easy find them. Interior courtesy lights light up everywhere throughout the cockpit, from our speakers to our surf emblems to floor lighting. Docking lights, underwater lights at the transom. Whether it be all of our controls for the electric arch, this I will lower it now, it does come down electrically. And back up, all touch of a button. Same as the electric swim step, everything has a purpose. Typical chaparral with the bird that finds his way. Leather wrapped steering wheel, Italian made. This is digitally throttled and shifted. So one of the sweet spots on a Mercury Merc Cruiser is we set the throttle, crank the boat in a turn, straighten the boat out. Guess what, the speed doesn't change. Mercury's got you covered. Smart start, so one blip of the key and the engine's running. We do have Guardian system, onboard diagnostics comes on screen in case we're low on fuel, low on drive fluid. Um, we lack seawater pressure if we hit seaweed, grass, mud, sand. So these things that can normally be boating's stumbling blocks that makes boating expensive. The Merc Cruiser has a Guardian system to warn you and to protect itself so that your boating day can be much more productive and much safer. What I love about this boat is the helm. The helm seat has the kick up. So you can see above anyone is in front of you. It's so deep, I really won't have that problem, but I can see above the window frame. I can stand for docking or trailering. I can though, from a seated position, have a great view of the horizon and not have bow rise until we choose it to make a beautiful surf wake. All of our throttle position is right in where it belongs, easily accessible. Opposite side, they make such a nice console on the passenger helm. This opens up to a very large potty area. We do have all of our sea deck can be held within our carry bag, so all of your flooring can be removed. It's a triple air sea deck. We have teak flooring in the potty area with the porcelain bowl, vacuum flush pump out head, mirror in that, stainless steel sink, another shower on board here, lighting, all the controls for the pump out for the potty and all this in one beautiful helm door for the head, which gives you a nice glove box top sides. All of your woodworking on deck on the surf and on all chaparrales, this is stainless steel, but aluminum panels with wood grain coating so we don't have wood that's gonna turn colors or not hold up in the sun or crack, so it's all beautiful metalwork to last. I love the stainless cap on the windshield. It's another beautiful detail and 
point out our mirror on board that does during covering of the boat or towing hinge out of the way. Pretty smart thought out. Once we open the windshield, stainless steel one-handed lock, so opening and closing is one-hand maneuver. Bow filler cushion up here gives us twin lounges with built-in armrests. I can be ultra comfortable top size with the long bow rail, easy grab. Same thing, back lit in the surf, lit up in the corners, lit up in the speakers, so at night we can easily see. This does also remove and give access to a table mount. So if we choose to put our oval table, which we've ordered on this boat, it raises it nice and high on a high mount. It does have a walk through from the bow deck, which is easy to drop our anchor into, to a mid cooler, under deck, drains overboard. Our anchor line and chain also drains overboard. Large pull up, recessed cleats. So the cleats are not in the road when not needed, but easy there for dock tie up, including midship. Stern cleats on the down hull of the boat, and at the back corner platform, we have a total of eight cleats on this boat. All of our seats, of course, on Chaparral, they hinge, they give us a Pirelli mat inside, so there's no carpeting to stink or get moldy and mildew. The bow walk door is pretty sweet. We want to enclose this in the morning when it's chilly. Keep the wind dam in place so you can keep the cockpit nice and warm. Additional storage, trash receptacle, table mount, table leg. Of course, typical chaparral quality in the floor locker, which has a flat bottom, we put our additional ballast, which is a fat sack inflatable ballast tank, which also pumps in, pumps out. But when I close this locker lid, you notice the stainless steel latch. Everything on deck is beautifully done in fiberglass lids, not plastic lids, so that this boat has long lasting value. All of our overboard floor drains take water overboard for self failing. You'll notice our cockpit table here in the stern, which is great in case you want to put it in the bow or the stern, but by not drilling a hole in the floor, we can basically straddle the table leg and not stumble over it in a cutout in the floor, which always holds water and dirt. The table has its own storage bin, the legs high low for the filler and the table all fit inside the driver's console under my seat got some extra things that you got to have for your toys uh, this boat is equipped with an onboard pump which we have the air pump in here we do have our additional bow covers cockpit covers onboard fire extinguishing system automatic can be manually deployed if needed these seats swivel, turn, and lock. Typical Chaparral features. We've got the one latch will give us a rotate. Other gives us back and front so we can adjust the seat as needed. So we can get in on the action and bring it back front again, all with the remotes, easily accessible. So if you're interested in this 26 Surf, it's available now here at Lancaster County Marine, or if you want to special order yours in whatever colors strike your fancy, and whatever options suit you, call us at 717-859-1121. Check out our website at lcmboating.com. Any questions you may have on this boat, because there's many more features we can talk about, we can give you a self-guided tour in our showroom that you can uh, make your decisions as needed. This also comes in a shorter 21 and 23 foot SSI surf. And we have the SSX surfs in 26, 28 and 30 feet. So we've got that big boat for you, ready to throw the big roller out the back so we all can have a good time surfing. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Here at Lancaster County Marine, all of our new boats go through a thorough check-in so we make sure they are ready for you to enjoy the water. When you purchase from us, you'll get a great clinic and run out of your boat before you take it home, which makes your time on the water the best that it can be. We offer our express preferred service, which keeps you on the water with less downtime and gives you preferred rates on your services. We also work with Chaparral and Rabalo to build your own boat so you can contact us for more details and customize the boat of your dreams. Stop in to check out our showroom and see new boats, pre-owned boats, motors, trailers, canoes, kayaks, SUPs, accessories, and more. Nothing better than being on the